Bless y'all. I'm going to come on here this morning and do a video. Just a testimony. For many years, I battled with deep, deep, deep depression. Post-traumatic stress. Rejection. Abandonment issues. Daddy issues. All stemming from childhood sexual trauma. To the point where I couldn't get out of the bed. I didn't want to be with around anyone. Yet still going to church. I consider myself to be a Christian, a strong Christian. And one of the largest churches in Maryland, the DC, Maryland, Virginia area. Very, I was proud to be a member of this church. Great pastor. Like 15,000 members at the time. But I was so broken. I was so defeated. Praising and worshiping and still. I grew, I grew very tired. Brother Daniel Muir, Pastor Muir. I would talk to him from time to time. He would try to encourage me. Pray in the morning, 4.30 in the morning. But I was still broken. I had a lot of fight in me, though. The most I was preparing me for something I had no idea. I'm very mindful to say that Yahweh brought me to Straightway Truth Ministries under Pastor Charles Dow. Because I see more and more that many people, they lie on the most high. They say that they brought them this way. They brought them to the man of Yah. But they end up leaving. So was the truth ever in them? We know that all liars go to the pit. So for me to say that he brought me this way, I'm very mindful of the words that I speak because I'm going to be held accountable to those same words. I've been a part of Straightway Truth Ministries for about three years, maybe three and a half years now. Short period. I don't know much. Still learning. Still unlearning all that I was taught in Christianity. But the one thing I can attest to, and the one thing I believe, I know that I'm in a ministry following men who are full of power. You can say what you want. You can speak words of discord. You can put your mouth on these men. You can bear false witness. And I'm not here to you know, sway anyone or change your mind. And I'm not even going to put my... I, I'm, I don't even put my mouth on people who left the ministry. The word says, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. How many people are really doing that during this daytime and hour? How many people are laser focused on that narrow path? And I'm trying to stay on that straight and narrow. Not caught up in that path that leads to destruction, that broad path, that broad road. Since doing this ministry, I've been delivered from post traumatic stress, severe depression. Anxiety for many years. I was struggling in this. And I used to say that, okay, I'm going to be like Paul. This depression is a thorn on my side. I used to speak that. I thought it was just a thorn. I didn't know there was a, a, a 
demon. I had demons. I was full of demons that needed to be cast out of me. My previous church never talked about deliverance. No one had the power to cast out any demons that I know of. That was a case I would have went, boy. I say all that to say, men don't follow titles, they follow power. Now I will continue to follow Pastor Charles Dow as long as he's following the Messiah. I'm not getting caught up in a pennant. I'm not getting caught up in what the next man has to say. The word tells me to worry about myself. To work out my own salvation with fear and trembling. But I do know, I know that my family has flourished. I know that my wife has grown leaps and bounds. I know that my children are in order. Yes, we go through trials and tribulations. Yes, we've gone through some, man, I've gone through a lot since being in this ministry. But I didn't turn my back and say, okay, man, I've seen some things in this ministry I didn't agree with, but just because I don't agree don't mean that I have to leave. I didn't agree with a lot of things in Christianity, but I stood there. And it was no power, it was no deliverance. I was in bondage and I walked and following my former pastor. So I'm over this and I'm in truth and I just I get offended in the rollout. But I didn't get offended in Christianity. That that makes no sense. We say that we in the we we hold the truth. But we want to leave and do our own thing. It's important for us not to let offense take us out of here. And I know trials come. We're going to go through the storms of life, trials and tribulations. We will go through. I mean, that's the book, but come on, man. And I'm so grateful that I was afflicted growing up. See, those of you who don't know, I've gone through so much throughout my life. Childhood, sexual abuse, neglect, abandonment, all of that. Raped as a little boy. And I'm so grateful that I went through that early on because now it's like, what could offend me? I already been through the worst. And I praise God he delivered me from that because we live in a soft generation, man. Where people can't endure. I went through abandonment. I went through physical abuse, sexual abuse. I'm glad that I went. I look, look at. I'm looking at you and saying, I'm glad that I went through that. I'm glad that I went through that early on. I'm glad that I had to go through that because now it's like I got a fight. I got fight in me. On a basketball court, I remember my coach said, "Mark, you got a you you a dog." When I played at the College of Southern Maryland, he said. Mark, you a dog. And I was okay in basketball in high school and military. and But my coach, he spoke life into me. He said, man, you a dog. Now that I'm a man of Yah, full of power, I'm, I'm a dog in the spirit. We can't let these things, man, take us out of here. People get offended and, oh, this is not for me. And Come on, man. I've been through too much. You don't have the same attitude towards people in the world. I see people, brothers dealing with women and who are opposed to, they go in the opposite direction. They're supposed to be following you, but you just, you following them. We're supposed to be men, priests, protectors, providers of our homes. But you following women. I just want to just share, man, because I, Charles Dow, Daniel Muir, Pastor Corey Phillips, they've been a blessing to me. And I don't talk to these men every day and 
I have access to them. That's another thing. Like I couldn't talk to my former pastor. Matter of fact, I think I met my pastor, my former pastor, one time, and we just, uh, hello, sir, and we kept it moving. Like, but it's not about. It's about us men of Yah getting into that book and living it. Not get on YouTube and create videos where we just downing each other and downing a pastor, a man of Yah. Like, I don't see that going on to Christianity for real. I don't see too many people. I see Christians, they support their pastors the majority of the time. Like, you don't see too much of this. But over here, goodness gracious, in Israel, man. Get on YouTube and pass it out, pass it out, pass it out, pass it out. Man. That's a fearful thing. That's fearful, man. I don't agree with everything I see in this ministry. I'm not going to go to YouTube and just, come on, man. I remember when I was growing up in the foster care system, my foster mother said, whatever happened in this house stays in this house. And I was being raped in that house. I was being abused in that house. Taken advantage of in that house. A whole bunch of wickedness went on in that house. Now we get over here, men of truth, Men who's supposed to be standing on that book, but we're not living the book. How about take care of things in the house? Why would you go to the public and, and get views and likes for people who don't even have the spirit of the most high? That's evil. People who are confederate against you and your ministry and with your brothers. I mean, you once walked, you were locked on with these brothers. These pastors prayed for you. These pastors helped you with deliverance. And these men walked you through some things when you was going through. And now you just turn your back and just, oh, yeah, wickedness going on there. Deal with it. If, it's, if, if you feel as though people are wicked, you feel as though people are doing things that's contrary to the book, why would you go to the world? Why would you go on YouTube? And make a public video. I gotta maybe I gotta do some more studying. I gotta go to the book and see where it is. Which what chapter verse tells me to go to YouTube and and air out everything that's going on and my offenses. Yeah, I don't know the whole Bible. I didn't read the like my elder Kabir said he read the Bible many times from front to cover, Genesis and Revelation. I maybe I need to call him. Yeah, I'm gonna call him when I get off here and ask him. Where did he see that? Maybe he saw it. I didn't see it. Where it says, thou shall go to YouTube and, <laughs> and tell them what's going on. That's interesting to me. I can say, man, I've seen my family grow. I'm here in this ministry learning so much, unlearning all that I've learned in Christianity. I'm pressing towards the mark. I'm helping other brothers get free. And it's beautiful. I mean, I can say, you can say what you want about this ministry. I see brothers really, we need to do videos about brothers who've really grown. Brothers who've grown leaps and bounds, like, for real. Brothers who've been taken advantage of here in the DMV area. Now they're free. Now they're able to walk upright and they're not under any more bondage. They don't have to worry about people stealing from them or mismanagement of funds and stuff like that, man. Praise y'all. Just make more of those videos instead of you being offended and going out here and just gathering up people by using pastor. You're trying to get subscribers by using pastor's name. That's crazy to me. Like I said, hey, maybe it's, maybe it's in the book somewhere. I don't know it all, but I just want to say the Straightway Truth Ministries under Pastor Charles Dow. I've grown 
leaps and bounds. I'm still growing and I'm grateful. I didn't want to get on here and just do like everyone else, just be rapping. I'm just, I'm grateful. And if you come across this video and you, you, you have questions because you've seen all the negativity and give us some brothers who really walking this out and in here and they're striving because the very few who's on here think about it why would you continue to make videos 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 and trying to down the ministry that you're no longer a part of when you try to help people to get to the kingdom it's like me I'm getting on here and I like sharing my testimony to help other people you know become free help tell people that you can be made whole you can overcome childhood sexual abuse I don't want people to be bound. I'm not getting on here telling you how to remain in bondage. I want people to be free. So if I'm a pastor or I'm a leader or I'm a brother who left this ministry, won't you want, wouldn't you want other brothers to be free and have what you have? Not just, okay, pastor this, pastor is wicked, and these wicked men over there, straightway truth ministries. And, no, come on, man. I could be a heathen to say, hey, that's all. I could be a heathen watch those videos like what's going on? Right, something's not right. You was once part of something. Now you all your videos is tearing <laughs> them brothers down, tearing the pastors down and speaking death over them. That's very interesting to me. But those who have eyes to see and ears to hear, I pray. That you continue to seek the Father because many people, people are looking for truth. We don't got time, man. This world is growing more wicked each and every day. People are dying daily going to hell without the Messiah. They're dying without the Messiah. And you on here, boy. You're not giving people the Messiah because if you constantly making those videos, all you see is confusion. And we know that Yah is not the author of confusion. So you're really pushing people away. You're supposed to be bringing them to the Messiah. You're supposed to be, in, you're supposed to be a light to them who are in darkness. But you're pushing them away. And that's, boy, woe to you. You're supposed to be bringing people in and letting them know you can be set free, you can be made whole. Once you do videos about that time, Pastor helped you with deliverance. That that time he prayed for you. You forget about those things, huh? Praise you. I've been on here too long. I just wanted to encourage someone and let you know that no matter what you go through, keep put your put your trust in the most high y'all. Man to fail you. Ask him to lead you. To guide you. Don't form an opinion off of people who are angry, people who didn't get their way. Most of the people never say what they've done. Like, it's always, think about that. You always point the finger at someone else. Him, him, Pastor Dow, Pastor Dow, Pastor Dow. I'm always looking at myself. Like, what have I done? What wickedness is in me that I need to repent for? You know, I don't always look at other brothers. If you always point your finger at other people, that's a problem. Y'all be encouraged. Enjoy this day. And keep pressing in the Messiah. Hallelujah. Bless y'all.